So here I'm going to be going through the 100 end games by Jesus de Villa, uh, starting with number one. So the first end game is about the rule of the square. So here in this position with white to move simply a4. Then if you were to draw a square from the pawn. To its promotion square, you see this black king is uh, not in a position to reach it, basically. The black king would need two moves to get to this square here, which is the closest square. Or in fact, these two squares are also equally close to the position it was in. So what that means is that white is uh, white's going to promote this pawn and it doesn't require the help of its king to do so. Uh, in this position here, and it's the same position here, but again, in this case it's black to move. And the difference being here now, with the pawn on the second rank, we draw the square from the third rank to the end of the board. Because obviously the white pawn can move two squares from its uh, from the second rank, so it, effectively it's as if it's on the third rank, if you were to count them as one square pushes. So here with black to move, he can make either of these moves, and the position is a draw if we play it out. You can see the black king gets there in time. In this position, just to prove the point, The Black King doesn't reach it in time due to not being able to step into the square of the, the white pawn on its own move. And here again, this is in uh, chapter one of uh, Jesus de Villa's 100 Endgame books, 100 Endgames You Must Know book. And here in this position, when you have a position like here, the, the simplest move with white to move is always just to play here. Stop the Black King from getting around to the back and getting onto the uh, the promotion square of your pawn. Um, you don't have to play that move, you could just play this move in this position. Um, and then here you could actually just push through. Uh, alternatively, after that move you could also play here with the same idea as before, stop blocking the king from getting to either of these two squares and to the promotion square. After this move, it's important to note that black is never in time to get round to the back of the, your pawn and take it. Your pawn will always reach the safety of your king's protection before black is in a position to take it. So that would apply, for example, if the king, if the the two kings were uh, two ranks uh, across, for example, if the black king was here and the white king was here. It wouldn't make any difference.